Okay, my mom moved into a new apartment. <laughs> Whoa, great for her, awesome. Nice floors, mom, love wood. You know what, nice fridge. You can, you see it? You can't, it's a great, you know what, stainless steel, pretty cool. Who are you, the Kardashians? Sure. My mom's at the chiropractor, great, I love bones. My stepdad, my sister, and my niece are at the park, awesome, adventure. Grass, a slide, sure, why not? I didn't go to the park, I didn't go to the chiropractor because I'm lazy. I just wanna sit around. I just wanna do my makeup in a really ugly way and I just wanna sit. So I stay back. I resigned to doing nothing. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> I decided to go out on the balcony. Sure, love of you. Holy shit, it's water. I wanna take a closer look at the water. Who can blame me? It's just nice to see large expanses. You know what I mean? I like water. I like hydration. I like to float. I'm super fat, I never sink, I don't know what science is. And then I come out on the balcony. The door locks behind you automatically when you close it. The person who invented that feature, great job, great, you're a genius. Such, such a useful feature. I've called my family 400 times, no one's picking up, no one's picking up. Wow, people invented cell phones. <laughs> Here's a fun fact, cell phones exist, and, and then you keep them on you, and then you pick them up when people call. I'm over it, I'm over the silent feature, okay? Everyone puts their phones on silent because you're so fucking popular. You can't deal with the sound of the countless people who are trying to contact you at all times. Oh, sorry, sorry, you're so well liked that everyone is texting you all the time that you have to be silent, and so that you never really, really know when people are contacting you. You only know when you feel like checking great love popular people <laughs> i love them no popular people are the most annoying people you can't hang out with them because they're too busy they can't pick up their phone because they can't handle the amount of people that contact them all the time so fuck you popular people you're ruining my life frankly and you're ruining the world as we know it i don't want it's a cute balcony okay i'll give them that look as they put astroturf down that's just fucking adorable that's just so fucking sweet look i don't know what kind of flowers that is it posy i don't know it's sweet look at that look at that i don't know what it is just straight up sweetness it's a chive. Oh my god, it's so oniony. <laughs> uh oh. I don't want to do this today. I don't want to play this game. I just want to be inside. I haven't eaten yet today. The only thing I've eaten today is that fucking chive, and it's so oniony. I don't want to be out here. First of all, my makeup is so fucking ugly. Let's just admit it. Let's just be honest with each other. I look fucking bad. I don't want to look like this. First of all, my lipstick shade is two shades darker than my normal color. And maybe no one else noticed, but I think I look fucking bad. I don't like it. The shade of eye makes me look so pink. I look like a, a little piggy pig. A little piggy pig pig. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy went to the balcony. This little piggy got trapped outside and ate a fucking onion. My hair makes me look like deranged Pippi Longstocking. And it's so windy. It's so windy and I'm tired. I slept nine hours, but I don't know why I'm so sleepy. <laughs> sleepy and it's like a weird temperature outside and I don't have any sustenance I don't have anything to keep me going I only have one thing in my pocket nothing and these okay actually that makes me look a lot better okay I feel a little bit better T minus 15 minutes on the balcony no word from any family member not a sound not a peep not even a neighbor just me and this astroturf and my sadness I feel sad. I feel sad and I feel stupid for feeling sad and I feel like I can't talk about it because I'm so dumb. And so I'm just a prissy little bitch. My breath smells like fucking chive. <sighs> All of my energy is drained out of my body. I just live here now. This is just where I exist. This is just you know what, I'm never leaving the balcony. It's fine, you know what, when it rains, I can gather the rainwater and live off of that. I've got chives for days. Look at all the chives, yum, yum, yum. I love onions. I love Shrek, you know what I mean? <laughs> living, I'm living for it, no. I'm awake, I'm alive, yes. Okay, I like, it's beautiful. Look at that, what is that thing? Look at it, oh my God, it's magical. What, a little sailboat, a little rainbow? Precious, like just sweet, look at this. Wow, a cushion. Thank you, mom. Like, so thoughtful. Like, wow, though. Like, hey, howdy, hey, I'm on a yo-yo, though. What? <laughs> I feel ugly, but that's okay. I feel super ugly. My hairstyle is disgusting. I don't know what this eyeshadow is. Why did I put on a different lip color? I don't know. It's okay, though. It's okay to feel ugly. It's okay. Why do I have to be 
attractive. Why can't I just be like super obese and put bad colors together sometimes? It's okay to feel ugly. Feeling ugly, it's an, it's an opportunity to just be a little tortoise goblin. You know what I mean? I just, it's okay. It's okay to not feel great. It's okay to not feel great. It's okay to be trapped. It's okay that your family doesn't care about you and doesn't pick up your calls. It's okay to be totally alone. I'm fine with it. My breath smells like Shrek's armpits. Awesome. Living for it. I'm super thirsty. I don't have any chapstick and my lips feel like they're gonna fall off, but it's fine. You know what? You know, I'm a very high, I'm a little bitty bitch boy. I am a little bitty bitch boy. I'm very high maintenance. I'm very annoying. <sighs> when I came to my mom's house, I didn't like the lighting in the room that I was sleeping in. So I requested a lamp. And then the next day, um, I was a little bit um, balmy. So I requested a fan and, um, and then a nightlight. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just saying I'm really high maintenance. I'm really a little bitty bitch boy and this is what I deserve I deserve to be locked on the balcony without any chapstick and feeling like my lips are gonna flake off Here's a fun fact. I use chapstick every five seconds. I need it or it feels like I'm going to die Let's confront that. Let's confront that annoying very annoying very high maintenance um, Insufferable quality about myself and also I haven't eaten anything today. Yep. Uh, I'm super fat So it's okay because I can live off my fat reserves um, Doesn't feel great all I've eaten is that um, annoying chive. Um, fuck you, chives. <laughs> I know we have a very complicated relationship. Sometimes I'm chill with you, sometimes I'm not. Right now, I hate you, chives. Fuck you. You're what are you? You're not an herb. You're not an herb. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, my boa. Oh my god, it's so windy. Like, for real though? Thank you to the lords above for allowing me to be so fucking fat, or I would literally be scared I'm gonna blow away. If the wind takes my boa, and blows it away. I am going to throw up over the side of this balcony. Ugh. I have nothing to vomit. It will be one chive. I will vomit one chive over the side of the balcony and I will wait until someone passes by so I can do it on their head. T minus 45 minutes on the balcony. Um, update, I've started sucking on my pinky finger as to attempt to swallow the saliva so that I don't die due to dehydration. T minus 54 minutes locked on the balcony. It's fucking windy and I'm scared. Like I was meant to be on this balcony. That's crazy. What? Can I, can we, can we really just be honest though? God is real. God is fucking real. I'm not kidding. This cushion smells like Cheetos, but it's okay. I swear I'm so <laughs> First of all, I don't know why there was a Diet Pepsi embedded into the AstroTurf. I don't know how that happens. I don't know why, how, where, who. Did, did this happen on purpose? Does this door not even lock? Did someone lock me out here? Is this a test? Is this like the maze runner? Grown-ups have put me out here and then they're testing me and then it's like, if I'm like, if I can like get out of here, then it's like, I save the world. I don't know. I don't know what the plot of that movie is. I never really paid attention, but it's like a Hunger Games situation. And then this is like, Woody Harrelson sent me this. And it's like, the people who are watching believe in me. And it's like, is that thing actually a camera? Okay, I don't know what's happening, but something, something really cool is happening. Either people are watching me and it's the fucking Truman Show, or literally God is real and then send me a fucking Diet Pepsi with Cherry, because literally that is so fucking, like literally that is yum. I mean, if I'm being honest, I would have picked a Diet Coke, but like, it's okay, God. I respect you. I understand your choices. Like, you know what? You can't all, you can't, you can't always get what you want. I don't know what that is. First of all, I feel like crying. I still feel fucking ugly. I am an obese, deranged baby long stocking. I am the ultimate goblin of the Burlington balconies, but okay, but what I do know, what this diet Pepsi with cherry teaches me is that someone out there or something out there believes in me. Even when it seems like your boa is about to fly off the balcony, even when it seems like your lips are about to crack off because you have no fucking chapstick and you're addicted to it. Even when you feel like an obese Pippi Longstocking fraud, there's always some sweet cherry goodness surrounding you, man. You just gotta find it. I love life lessons. I love wisdom. Oh. It's very warm and the top is very dirty, but somehow my sweet bitch 
it tastes better than any drink I've ever drank in my whole life. I live the diet, cherry Pepsi life. I love to learn life lesson. I love and everything's okay. And I love to be stuck on the balcony. My lips feel so dry like they're gonna fall off. And I'm so happy to be out here. And I'm living the rest of my life on the balcony. It feels so great to just be in the astroturf. And I don't mind. I'm gonna blow away. I don't mind that everything is spooky, and I don't mind that I'm gonna. Sam, what's the matter? I, I've been stuck out here ever since you left. Why didn't you call me? I, I called you a million times. You know what? Honestly, I, I swear though, Bob, it was meant to happen. Look what I found. Anyways, thanks, mom. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat. Oh, but honestly, I, I feel free. Like, it feels like really, ew, I got Pepsi on me. Ew. Hi, Mike. Hi, Amy. Where you been? I was, uh, I was stuck on the balcony for over an hour, but guess what? Not actually so bad. You know what? Hardships into whatever the... Lemons into lemons. That's, that's it. That's it. <clears throat> I was here the whole time. What do you mean? I, I was here the whole time. I was sleeping on the couch. You were just... I was... You didn't hear me screaming? I was... No. Great. <laughs>